and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yeti Smash. That's right, we're going to be starting to smash this rank up Sunday. We're going to be going with our Yeti deck that we played uh, four days ago. I think this was a swim deck, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, you know, like we're, we're basically playing, uh, you know, Trifarian Assessor with a bunch of five power things like Hearthguard, Cato the Arm, um, and then just all of our Yetis, whether it's Ancient Yeti or the Yetis that Averroes and Trapper or Yeti Yearling can make. Um, we're pairing those with some Tall Tales to be able to get even more Yetis out. And just kind of winning an aggressive um, game with those before our opponents can stabilize, use Draven as a really good attacker, and then Katarina to get us some more attacks. That's kind of what our deck's all about. Um, nothing too fancy here, but uh, just very efficient um, and very large creatures. So let's give it a try. Let's play it. And we're going to go play five matches over in ranked. Here we go. Some Yeti Smash. Getting settled on in here. <clears throat> Alright, so Trapper will get us... I'm going to rid of the Tall Tales for now. Trapper will get us another Yeti. Maybe I want to keep the Tall Tales. Actually. Let's do that. Let's, let's just keep our hands. We can work with this. Because basically, the turn. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. you know, turn like uh, five or so is gonna be pretty good. You know, like we trap her on turn three. Maybe we get it. Maybe we get the trapper on turn four, or turn five, and then we start tall tails in as well. Wow, I am stunned. They had a Rachnoid Sentry. If they have Yasuo, we're kind of in trouble. If they don't have Yasuo, we're looking really, really good. That's the thing about Yasuo decks. There is a huge difference between whether you have that card or you don't. And do I throw out Katarina? Let the blood shed begin. Yeah. Please no Yasuo. No, no, no. No. Yasuo, no. Katarina, you're not supposed to yell, they'll never know what killed them, but loudly enough for them to hear. Because I think they'll figure it out. Oh, dang. So our next next card's the Yeti. I'll just get this Yasuo back to a 4-3, so like our 3-1 our matches up against it. I don't know. I could have done one damage to them. I don't know. We'll see. I think <clears throat> Averroes and Hearthguards is, is real good friends with Bruce. That's why it says many tribes under one banner. They're good. They uh, really like the Hulk. Over in Averroes, though. So we play Enraged Yeti at Tall Tales. I guess, yeah, I guess that was the sound. 
What was that sound? That so that's the Yeti sound? The Yeti looks pretty loud, probably because it's so enraged. Attack. Wait, okay, here's here's the sound of a Yeti. That's a Yeti sound right there. Yeti sounds. Quickest way to earn wild cards or shards. No more running. Um Yeah, you can you can play against the AI and earn shards that way, but the the quickest way is is winning games player versus player. So either either ranked or non ranked. That's the quickest way is winning those games, but um, if you're struggling there just playing against the AI you get rewards for like your first like 10 well i guess you get unlimited rewards you know you get like 50 xp per win but you get like 100 xp for your first 100 or 75 or something like that for your first 10 i don't remember the exact numbers but somewhere in that vicinity okay assessor can draw some cards do we want to go tall tales first and then assessor and try to draw a whole bunch um So they passed here. They could definitely be waiting on Yone. Like that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm going to play this and then they're going to play Yone. Would it be better just to untap and then just go straight to attackers? No, probably not. Even though that's what I want to do. Yeah, just kind of... Okay, yeah, you're, you're making a deck. You're missing seven cards right now. Just kind of play th things that you have in your collection that are close to those seven cards. You know, try to get, like... You know, if it's... If it's, like, an... A... If it's, like, a unit, you know, play another... You know, if it's, like, a... If it's like a five mana creature, try to play like another five mana creature or something kind of similar. Um, you know, kind of do that that kind of thing whenever you're making a deck and you're making uh, um, when you're switching out cards for what you have. Don't put like one mana cards in for a five mana card or so on. We have two options. I could Katarina. Katarina's not bad. I don't think it's as good, though. I think draw four is probably better. Zed Thresh Hecarim. That's the Yeah, that's good. Those are some good champs right there. I like it. So now the question will be whether we go straight to attacks or not. And the answer is yes, we're going straight to attacks. There 
their deck with all their Yones and everything, we don't want them to don't want them to have the ability to play stuff pre-combat. You know, they can play their fast speed spells, but that's fine. That's pretty good for me. Bounce a, a you know, bounce the one mana card that was about to die, turn it back into a five five. A one mana five five. That's pretty good. Now with the Omen Hawk also, like So we can go Omen Hawk, Omen Hawk, Omen Hawk, Enraged Yeti, Katarina. Rough technique. Good results. Oh wait, I don't have that much room, do I? I can only do two Omen Hawks. Well, I shouldn't have done a one one, should have done a two two, but oh well, they're at one. Alright, now they know they're dead. Ooh, wrong deck. We are Yeti smashing. Alright, we beat turn four Yasuo. That's never that easy. Like, they're... That's difficult when they curve out. You know, they curved out with the fluffy tails into the spider, into Yasuo, into other stuff, and then some Minotaur Reckoners. It's not easy to beat that with a, just a mid-range creature deck. That kind of shows the power that we have here with our with our deck. GG's. Oh. Ezreal Ash. Get rid of archers against Ezreal. Cool glitch. Yeah, we're all pretty new to the game. So yeah, it's definitely a definitely a uh, pretty friendly place for new players. But yeah, so welcome. Oh. That's a huge bummer. That card's, like, perfect. A 2-1 to block my 4-2. And the last breath draw card. That That is perfect. Um... I mean, I could just cast the Tall Tales, and then we have the one-mana card next. Then we know we're drawing. I don't love that. I'll just pass. Yeti! Yeti Yearling. Yeti Yearling. It's risky for me to cast the Tall Tales with just this 1-2 Yeti Yearling with them having the ability to um, kill it in response. Well, at least they didn't kill my Yeti. Alright. I will unite the frail yard. 
Gonna unite the Freljords, don't do that. We have our own Freljords over here. We don't we don't want our Freljords joining you. Let's see what you've got. Yep. Dude, Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron are awesome. They're the two best Freljord cards. And two of like the best cards just in general. Great time for Elixir of Iron. Speaking of... tapped out, so I know the Whirling Death will resolve. So let's just Whirling Death and keep our 5-5. Five five. You know, we're basically spending 3 mana here to have the 5-5 five five in play. That definitely seems worth it. Alright, we're looking good. Ooh. More Hearth Guards. No. Less Ezreal. More Hearth Guard. Hearth Guard cool, Ezreal not cool. Wish you would. Wish you did. Sure. All right, we'll put a couple Yetis into the deck. That's good for the assessor. There's one. Play assessor now and All the world on one arrow. draw three. Could be drawing a lot more. Next turn. Now nah, we'll play this thing. All right, I want to attack with that. I'm expecting harsh winds. I mean, I would love it if they don't have harsh winds, but I'm expecting harsh winds. Because that's just the best possible card. They do have it. That levels up as already? Wow. We certainly could be in trouble. Really, Elixir of Iron? You a little late. Ooh. 5 4 cat. I shouldn't even cast this Blade's Edge. They may just have, like, a Chump Blocker. I should just hold on to it just the whole time, and then if they, if they don't play a Chump Blocker, I just, it just gets discarded. Like, I shouldn't even do the one damage. That one damage doesn't matter. Sure. Ezreal's so fun. So, so balanced. Yeah, this was fun.
That was fun. Fun and interactive right there. Ezreal's so cool. I enjoyed that experience. Alright, so playing against Yasuo again. Got to hope. Alright, get rid of the Assessor. And... Maybe the Katarina? Katarina's our turn 4 play. Yeah, let's get rid of Katarina also. Looking for something new on turn 1 or turn 2. House Spider is going to be pretty good here. Um, you know, just chump blocking my larger creatures. It buys them enough time. That's, that's a really good card. I'll be surprised if we win this game. We... Oh, okay. That kind of changes things. Certainly use them not having a Yasuo. We played plenty of Yasuo decks before. You don't always get Yasuo every single game, even though it seems like it. Like my opponents always have Yasuo. But I don't for some reason. Like, like maybe they just don't have it on turn four here. Is that even possible? Nope, not possible. Okay. So, let's see. We're going to discard Reckoning. We're going to discard Take Heart. Cast another Reckoning. That was a lot of stuff to get Yasuo out of here, but it was probably worth it. Hmm, not sure which one of these I want to play. I think it's the Trapper. I'm not going to use Elixir to save that. I want Elixir to protect more important things. It's definitely a problem. Maybe I should have just played Katarina. Katarina would have got stunned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line up. I'm really glad they don't have Yone. Omen Hawk's nice. Omen Hawk gets stunned. Find another Yasuo, I'm dead. If they don't, we can potentially win. Come on, Yetis, we got we need you to smash. I'll do what 
They're playing six sixes, and I'm playing five fives. That doesn't sound too fair. Which Whirling Death was reliable, but it's not. Is Draven better than Katarina? Which one would I want to sacrifice if I'm sacrificing one of these? What are you waiting for? Maybe Draven's actually better. Going somewhere? No, probably not at this point in the game. I should have Elixir of Iron. Worried about who is better, Draven or Cat. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna have you strike you and do this point of damage also. Gotta kill this Reckoner. It's just a day. Gotta kill that thing. Get him. I kind of don't like using the Elixir of Iron because it gives them a really good bounce target if they have more bounce or stun, I guess, either one, either way. Alright, well, we got a card out of them with the, the transfusion. Draven time. I don't really want to trade my assessor for the sentry. I, I think I need to be able to block these things. I guess the problem with playing Draven over one of these cards is, is, is if they have if they have Intimidating Roar, it like stuns everything. Waits, for 
I still see far and clear. Still not good against intimidating roar, but I think I think I need to play this thing against this guy. All right, and then you, you, and then I'm taking seven. Okay. Seven damage has been taken. Or I'm willing to concede seven damage at least. Oh, come on. All right, so we're 1-1 one, one against Yasuo. And then we lost the Ezreal combo. Opponent's not playing fair. With Might and Overwhelm. And of course, the Ezreal combo. All right, Yeti Smash. Let's go, we need more Smash. I haven't had enough Smash here. Ooh, I'm, I'm liking this matchup already. Yep, GG's, not enough smash. Not enough smash. It's like we were playing Smash Brothers, not Super Smash Brothers. A true Fagorian welcome. So well, Tall Tales is better, like just the abstract. I'd rather have a 5-5 five -five than than the 3-3. Three -three. But Tall Tales is also risky, because if I cast it, they kill my Yeti Yearling in response. Um, you know, that's... Then we just put the 5-5 five -five on top of the deck and then get to... Um, you know, basically time walk me, and that's not so great. That's all. That's horrible news for me. Stay back. It's just a Let it die. Ooh, all right, good news, good news. We're in there. We're not gonna play something to let them ruination. Let's pick Cat back up. We are in there. Get Katarina Draven going. No one gets in my way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see, three, six, nine. So I can still. I can do nothing and still draw my card. They don't want to play stuff, I don't have to either. I shouldn't have played the Omen Hawk. I probably should have Ice Phil Archer did. 
I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I hope for Mienna they can't kill Katarina. Only fools hesitate. So even if they have if they have ruination here, I could still play my ancient yeti, attack in with ancient yeti, and then play Katarina and get to attack again. Oh, I guess that happens. So they cannot ruination anymore. Let's play this thing still. Withering Whale. It's kind of what they need. Alright, GG's. There we go. Much more smashing with our Yetis. Yeah, we got paired against that. I said that I liked that matchup. I thought they were going to be too slow. And they were. So here we go. What's up, Meta World Gaming? GG. Okay. What we got? Some bunch of spooky spiders. Ooh, Cat of the Arm can be really important against these spooky spiders. Being able to overwhelm over them. Uh, Whirling Death can do a little bit of stuff. But I don't know if I want two of them. No, I don't I don't know anything about Legends of Runeterra tournaments right now. I I haven't I, I don't know anything about tournaments at all. If if Metaworld Gaming's still in in chat, I think maybe he can help you. I mean, he's uh, we raided their stream the other day, and and they were doing a lot of tournament prep and things like that. So maybe uh, maybe he has a better idea of the tournament scene. But I don't know honestly. Am I supposed to make this block? I guess right. Like we're probably trading Spider for Avaros and Sentry eventually anyway. Just draw our card now so we have the most information possible. Try to make it harder for Elise to flip. Yeah, the new cards are looking good. Um, I'm going to be doing a full set review whenever we have all of the cards previewed. We'll be talking about all of them. Um, it's like, this is just, this has just been an awkward turn, because I had nothing else to play besides Katarina, but, like, playing Katarina isn't really that good. Like, I don't really want to just put Katarina back in my hands. I'd rather Katarina be in play. Yeah, I just turned on another Crawling Sensation. That's great. 
I honestly thought about not casting the Blade's Edge and just passing and not doing anything. Um, but they'd still be able to use the spell mana anyway. Alright, so the opponent's pretty far ahead, but they have used a lot of resources. This Whirling Death, I feel like, is going to be pretty good. I feel like it's going to be pretty good. Risky. Still kind of too risky to play Tall Tales. They vile, they vile feast. I die. They pass to me. Well, let's let's have them waste that seven mana. Thank you. I am behind here. Please don't have vile feast. this route instead. Haha, -ha, they they had Val Feast. Alright, it worked out. We went that route to be able to have the elixir of iron to protect. And obvi obviously I need Whirling Death available. I think that's just a necessity. Um, no, it's, it's really hard to play Yasuo without Noxus. I have, I, like, I remember playing against, um, well, they did this wrong. The 2-1 should be taking the 4-2 and the 1-1 take the 4-5. That would just make sense. I used to play against like a couple of weeks ago. Somebody had like a Braum, a Braum Yasuo deck. It was like the same person that played Braum Yasuo and played a lot of it. And I played against them like four or five times. But I don't remember exactly what their deck looked like. And I looked on Mobile Addicts like yesterday to see if, see if it was on there, but it wasn't. I want to double spell. My only way to double spell is, you know, playing a three and a four drop. Dang. Another Elise. So that's just GG, huh? I mean, it's GG unless they unless they let me play Reckoning. They go straight to attacks. Play something. No. That was definitely a turn they could champion. Playing the Kali the Callista and the Elise.
Ouch. Well, there we go. Our Yeti Smash only went two and three this time. Um, the card that looked pretty bad was the Tall Tales. That was, like, we were really struggling having Yetis in play and, and turning on tar uh, Tall Tales. Um, man, if we only drew that Reckoning one turn earlier. If we only drew that one turn earlier. That was, that was close. Um, but... But yeah, you know, this is a, a pretty decent deck, but uh, there's, there's a lot of good decks out there. There's a lot of good decks, and we won two of our five here. All right, well, that's Yeti Smash. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, please hit that like and uh, like button over there and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate if you do both of those. But thank you so much for watching some Yeti Smash, and I'll see you for the next video.